Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this ketchup flavored ice cream. Now, this is absolutely incredible. You gotta try it, so keep watching, and I'll show you step by step how to make this. Before we start making this recipe, look below this video at that subscribe button. If it's red, all you have to do is click on it and it'll turn it gray. Also, if you enjoy what I do here, be sure to hit that like button because I really wanna to get to 200 likes on this video. Now back to the recipe. We're gonna make this recipe just like we did our mustard flavor recipe. Only difference is I'm not even gonna start off with a blender. I'm not gonna use a blender at all. I'm gonna use a large bowl. In this large bowl, I'm gonna put two cups of heavy whipping cream. And the first thing we need to do is whisk this up. Now you can do it by hand, but I'm gonna use an electric mixer and whisk this up until it forms stiff peaks. And when it's formed stiff peaks, now we can move on to the next step. Now we're gonna do just about everything in this large bowl. You don't need to dirty up a whole bunch of different dishes. That is the best part. Now we're gonna add one cup of sweetened condensed milk, which is just short of 14 ounces. Next, we're gonna add a fourth of a cup of whole milk. Also a fourth of a cup of light corn syrup. And then a fourth a cup of ketchup. You can use whatever kind of ketchup you like, whatever your favorite is. Now just a teaspoon of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of sugar, well, I changed out my whisk attachment for my mixing attachment. We're just gonna mix this up. We don't wanna over mix it. We just wanna get it to where all the ingredients are combined because you don't wanna take all that air out of that uh, heavy cream that we whisked up. And I can see we're definitely gonna need the red food coloring. So I'm gonna put a few drops of that in there. And because adding just the red food coloring made this look a lot pink, I'm gonna add some brown food coloring to this, just a little bit, to try to darken up the colors. I guess it'd help if I pull off my um, little protective seal here before I try to use it. Let's try that again. Let's add a little bit of brown food coloring to this. I'm gonna put about three drops in there and see if it darkens it up enough. It darkened it, but Let's go back to a little bit more red food coloring. We're trying to get this color just right. All right, so color wise, that's about as good as it's gonna get. Uh, we're gonna just now take this and put this in a freezer safe bowl and put it in the freezer overnight. All right, so I got my freezer safe bowl out. I'm just gonna add this in there. And just spread it out nice and even. Next, what we're gonna do is cover it with plastic. In case you haven't seen my other videos where I make ice cream, plastic wrap helps prevent it from getting freezer burn. Just push it down all the way into the ice cream itself. And then cover it with your lid. Onto the freezer it goes. Now our ketchup ice cream has been in the freezer overnight. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. And it's a little pinker than I wanted it to be color wise, but that's okay. As long as it tastes good, that's all that really matters. Let's dish some of this out into a small bowl. Well, now it's time for the taste test. I'm gonna dig into this and see if it really tastes like ketchup. It does taste like ketchup, but not, it's weird. It's like, almost like, um, I can't quite, I'll take another bite, I don't know. It's ketchup, but not in a disgusting way. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this ketchup flavored ice cream. I know it's an unusual flavor, but just like my mustard flavored ice cream, it was a lot of fun making this. 
and you should try it out yourself. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Also hit that big red subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, you get new videos all the time. Be sure to check out some of the videos I have off to the side. I think you may enjoy those as well. And if you haven't checked it out, check out the mustard flavored ice cream as well. I'll put a link to that in the description below. And until then, I'll see you next time.